So guys, today we are out at uh, Keystone Dam, and today I'm going to talk about my current surf rod setup. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, uh, you know, why I chose this rod, and I'm gonna, today I'm just going to go over everything. So this is a Temple Fork Outfitters or TFO uh, surf rod. Uh, if you go on their website, all the specs are there, but uh, a quick rundown, this is a... Uh, Medium heavy 10.6 rod, rated 2 to 6 ounce. Um, reason why I wanted this rod, uh, I like that it was plain, nothing, bling, no bling about this thing. And the main selling point that made me get it was it was because it was light. This rod comes in at, I believe, 9 ounce. And I wanted a really light setup for uh, throwing top water. So with this setup, with this reel, I made a fish all day uh, you know, without getting all tired out and fatigued out so uh, Rio is a Dial Sotiga already made a video on that really awesome reel 4,000 size braid here is uh, Power Pro Max Quattro freshwater dams here I only throw 20 pound uh, line this, this Max Quattro line is plenty strong for uh, for what we do here uh, I throw anywhere from one ounce to three ounce uh, plug. Uh, this right here is a modified uh, Yazuri Hydro pencil I think it was. Looks like that. I've uh, replaced the hooks with inline singles and as you guys can see right there I drill holes and plugged, um, put BBs in this thing so it's really butt heavy. And it casts really well. So basically I'm just going to tell you guys uh, this is a medium range to me price uh, rod uh, it was two hundred and seventy dollars shipped I believe from Amazon uh, but of course you can buy it from the website it comes with a uh, lifetime warranty which is a really good uh, good thing to have because uh, this rod uh, I haven't had any issues with mine maybe it's because I'm more of an experienced uh, fisherman but some of my friends bought this rod and within like the first two days they've, they've broken the tip or has snapped the rod in half. I don't know what the deal is. But this rod come, does come with a lifetime warranty. So if anything happens, you can always contact TFO and they'll be happy to, uh, to help you. Uh, my buddy and them has got replacements for theirs. Uh, the blank, even though the rod's really light, the blink when I first got this rod was really stiff, which was, which was pretty nice. But after two years of you know heavy use, um, it has softened up, and that's why it's got a nickname, uh, a noodle stick. A lot of people say these sticks are too uh, soft, but for what I do, I feel like it's good enough. So you won't be seeing like the striper, surf caster, elitist out there probably throwing this rod but for what we do down here for what I use it for it's pretty pretty good pretty nice um, I've used St. Croix before pens I've used Daiwa's uh, Shimano surf rods uh, and so far I like this one the most just because like I said it's so light it comes with a good warranty uh, the only thing I don't like about this rod is the actual color I'm not too fond of this blue uh, I wish they would have kept it black like the first generation uh, TFO rods, but they went. They decided to go with this blue blue setup, and uh, it's not too bad. But I I just it's just nitpicking at this point. Uh, but uh, besides that, it's pretty uh, it's a pretty nice rod. I put this rod. Um, I would put this uh, a rod up against uh, four or five hundred dollars surf rods, and uh, I still pick this rod. So that's that's how much I like this rod yeah so uh, for the guys that are asking this is my current setup right now uh, I don't think I want I'm gonna be picking up any other rods anytime soon just because this one's does exactly everything that I wanted to do the only thing is it can't really throw anything over four ounces uh, but that's okay too because I don't usually throw anything over four ounces uh, and usually I'm not really a big guy so I don't have that strength to really whip anything bigger than 10.6 in my opinion so because I've gone through all the other lengths 
and I really like this one the most. So, so yeah, that's basically my raw setup. Uh, this whole setup right here, just rod, braid, and uh, reel. Uh, weighs in at uh, what was it? Uh, one and a half, a little bit over a pound and a half, which is really really nice. Cause like I said, I could be out here all day throwing this and not really tire out too much or not be too fatigued. It's so tempting to keep uh, your line dry when you're out here. Anyways, that is it for uh, this setup. I'll just, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.